Um, you have invited me to do something uh, with um, a couple of uh, workers from Burma living here in the village, directly in your neighborhood. For me, it was interesting. Um, and normally, I know we do community projects with a lot of people, and your focus on working only with uh, a couple and focusing a couple and using it as um, a media, uh, like, like a transformer into the other uh, um, subculture, was for me a very interesting uh, idea. So um, when I came here, I had some little ideas in my mind to do, and I had first to learn what is going on here. Um, for me, I found out that um, it is interesting to come with something which is not so obviously, not so easy to see, uh, and more come like come from behind. Um, I felt myself like a foreigner here, and so I saw some similarities to uh, the Burmese people here. And when I walk here, when shopping, everybody stare at me, and maybe sometimes the people from Burma have a similar feeling. So I transformed this into a project about the invisible people, uh, like in fairy tales. So I asked, uh, I remembered myself to a childhood story uh, from my German culture um, about the Heinzelmännchen, little dwarfs. And um, I asked um, you if you have a story, a story here from Thailand, and I also asked uh, the people from Burma if they have also a story similar about some invisible people. There was a similarity that there are some stories, there are some people invisible who do something good. And um, so the, my, my, my German people, they, they, um, uh, they work very hard and they are so tired and um, so they fall into the bed, they never have time to clean up their house. And so in the morning, suddenly they wake up and everything is well done, everything is cleaned. And so uh, this happened a lot and so the, the, they asked uh, themselves why. And um, they, were the, the, they, they wanted to look, so they hide and um, uh, they saw the, the little dwarfs cleaning everything. And then the, the man, he made a, a, a noise and um, so uh, um, the dwarfs disappeared forever. They never came back. And so they had to do all the cleaning again for themselves. And this kind of pattern you have again and again in different cultures. You have it in Burmese, you have it in Thai, you have it in German and in many other societies. Yeah. Um, this made me curious. The Burmese woman, she said a sentence to me which impressed me a lot. She said, um, like I tried to make a comparison between the artist, the role of an artist in the society, the role of a minority in the society, um, and for example like the, the foreign workers. And she said, you know, maybe even if you are invisible for some people and you try to do something good, it doesn't matter if other people don't see you. The good thing is you do something good and you just you do it because you do it. And this impressed me a lot because it was a very positive statement about uh, in a time where there's a lot of criticism and negativism. So um, we collected the stories, we recorded them and we told us the stories again. And I asked everybody, it was participants from different ages, children from the neighborhood. Um, the Burmese couple, they are like 29 or 28 or something, an elder woman from the neighborhood, uh, some teenagers, uh, it was a, another young guy from Burma, so it was, a, it was a, a very diverse mix and I asked them to make drawings uh, after the stories, influ influence from the stories and also to change the papers and make um, uh, paint somehow on top of the other painting and, and so let the painting circle, subtitle with, 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 with paintings and so on. And um, by doing this it was interesting that there are some cliches about our cultures and um, maybe the cliché explains more than, than, than the real story to understand what are the similarities. Um, so 
I think they had just a great afternoon. They learned each other a little bit to know that there are more similarities maybe than differences. Um, this is the, the main thing I think for, for, the, for this workshop phase. Now I will analyze everything. I have a lot of papers and I have all these drawings and maybe I'll show you what I'm doing now. I think it will be very interesting for the participants to see how uh, a, by the transformation of somebody outside, like an alien, like me, um, transforms their participation into something else where we can think again about it. So, I'm very happy that I was invited for this project um, as a European in this somehow inter internal Asian project or focused on inter-Asian uh, dialogues um, and uh, I know that I was invited because there are some similarities to um, uh, structures what we have also inside of Europe or maybe worldwide. Um, I made a, a community art project just now in, in Cambodia now I'm participating here in a community art project uh, in, in Thailand. I will do other community art projects in other countries and I do a lot in Germany. So what is for me interesting is to bring these experiences and these works together and uh, form something out of that which can be again percepted as an artwork, not only like a documentation or a an, 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 an journalistic report or something. Uh, for me it becomes more and more interesting to think how can you transform processes again into an artwork which can be shown very on a long term uh, as an artwork in, in an exhibition. So I'm very curious about the exhibition coming out here, what uh, you are developing in, in Bangkok in the next fall and I will show also the work later in a different version in this dialogue uh, what I developed in, in Germany and um, I will see, maybe you bring the project also to Burma, this would be fantastic. <laughs>